All right, we're right back. Woo! Awareness. Day three, we are looking again at how we can make sure that we are identifying the emotions properly. Because no one of us lives in a vacuum. No, no one of us lives alone. We, in the course of life, will move alongside people. We will move with people to fulfill certain objectives for certain seasons of time and one of the most long-term relationships as we all know is marriage and this can be one relationship that will either make you expose you or break you so it's important that we position ourselves in the place of advantage looking forward what are we identifying in our relationships that are not healthy and again it comes right back to me isn't it when I got married, I found out that I was more controlling and I would say things like, this has to be done, don't do that, I'm going this way and, you know, no, and, and things like that. And, and I wasn't softened in my expressions, I was sort of, you know, doing it that way. And one day, my husband, we had just been married maybe about a year, he said to me, you are not the boss here. I, I am the one in charge. Uh, you were in your family. Of, I was I'm still the first of nine. And he said to me, but now you're not in that family. This is another family that has a different order. Now, he didn't use all the words I've just said, but that's what he meant. And that shook me because I was used to how I was saying what I said, how I felt. And so I had to walk. It's taken me quite a while but I've had to work on my personality and work on my delivery and uh, it's not enough to say um, that's how I am it's important to know that if someone is pointing out any particular expression or emotion or um, delivery of your words that you know is causing or creating effects wrong effects in the relationship that you look at what is bringing this on and how do I deal with it? And I knew where that was coming from. And I understood very well that my family patterning, patterning as well as how I grew up and what I was used to. So it's taken me a while because when you're used to, you've grown up on a particular note for years, then you've got to give yourself space and allowance and also your spouse or whoever is working with you on this to walk with you through to get into where you are. Uh, empowered to to do it rightly so there we go on awareness again and I want to uh, land here by saying that it's either you're emotionally alive or emotionally <laughs> dead and by dead I mean you know you you, you you're a dead pan you know nothing really excites or stirs you up or you, and some that happens in those men or women that are emotionally unavailable and trace it again to family upbringing, trace it again to hurts, you know, things that happened as you grew up in school or on the playground or, you know, in your family, wherever. So you want to look at why is he or she behaving and then, then you can trace and be able to reach a solution. Again, if you're over emotional, how yeah yeah and everything else, don't be a drama queen or a drama king. I don't know if there's any word like that, but what I'm trying to say here is either extremes are not healthy. So we want to get to the balancing of what are normal emotions and how do we express those in a relationship starting from ourselves. So thank you so very much and I'll come right back to you on day four of Harness your emotions, reposition your relationships. Thank you and bye for now.